Shabbat Shalom. I hope people had a pleasant holiday of Shavuot. And now for uh, those in Israel and Reformed Jews, Shavuot ends. For others, of course, there's an extra day. As Shavuot ends, it's hard not to be a little sad, not only at the end of the holiday season, and not only because of this ongoing pandemic, but also the terrible tragedies this week, the violence, the racism, the things that tear our society apart and make it harder to have hope. So I hope our Shabbat service will bring us hope. I'm so glad you've joined us. And if you're watching this later on Facebook, welcome to. I wanna begin with a poem called The Cura Troy by Seamus Haney, wonderful poet. Perhaps it'll give you hope as it gives me hope. Human beings suffer. They torture one another. They get hurt and get hard. No poem or play or song can fully right a wrong inflicted and endured. The innocent in jails beat on their bars together. A hunger striker's father stands in the graveyard dumb. The police widow in veils faints at the funeral home. History says, don't hope on this side of the grave. But then once in a lifetime, the long for tidal wave of justice can rise up and hope and history rhyme. So hope for a great sea change on the far side of revenge. Believe that a further shore is reachable from here. Believe in miracles and cures and healing wells. Call miracles self-healing, the utter self-revealing double take of feeling. If there's fire on the mountain or lightning and storm and a God speaks from the sky, that means someone is hearing the outcry and the birth cry of new life at its term means once in a lifetime that justice can rise up and hope and history can rhyme. I invite us on page two of our special Friday night prayer book to join together in a prayer of being together. Hine Matov. Beauty, a song of Shabbat. Maya Fehayo Shabbat Shalom. Maya Fehayo Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Maya Fehayo. Shabbat Shalom. Maya Fehayo. Shabbat Shalom. We're told that on Shavuot, as we celebrate the Torah, we remind ourselves Torah Ora. Torah is light the light of God's presence, the light of wisdom, the light of hope, the light of love. Continue as we light our Shabbat candles on page five.
Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kedishana B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu L'hadlik Ner Shel Shabbat. Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kedishana B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu L'hadlik Ner it was Lincoln who understood that uh, we are called upon to listen to and obey the better angels of our existence. And we continue with the song of angels, special angels for Shabbat, page six. Shalom Alechem. If you're able or so inclined, you're invited to rise as we turn in our prayer book for Hatzikadosh on page 8. Yet gada, yet gada, shemir abab, yamad yivrach, rute, yamlet machute, becha ye chonu yom e chon, ufchae de chobet israel, bagala, bagala, uviz mahan karibi meru amen, ye shmer abam evorach, lalam lom el maya, yet barach, yet barach, vishtabach, with parvet romam did nase, Vita da vita leo vita la shemede kudisha berichu lela min kol berchata b'shirata tush berchata benechem ata da amiran b'al mavi meru amen. La 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 la
God for creating a beautiful world. We praise God for giving us a beautiful world to take care of. Today, let me touch the earth with gentle hands and build anew. Tomorrow, let me remember that all I have built belongs to earth alone. And always let me ask for no other blessing than the one that God has already given me to be. Join together in our uh, Micha Mocha, which you can find on page 14. First, I want to share with you a thought about persistence and resilience. Sometimes, when we're fighting for freedom and justice, we need that so much. Marianne Hannon has written There are moments on this earth when we experience terror of knowing how utterly alone we are. Helpless moments when our spirit is silent and our cries echo in our ears. Then we must remain steady like the mighty oak and supple like the graceful birch until that blessed moment awaited in faith when the sun shines, the weather clears, and the sap within starts to run again. Oh, <laughs> 
Bokeyam lifnei Moshe Miriam. Zeli anu v'yameru, zeli anu v'yameru. Adonai loch, Adonai loch le'olam ha'yeh. V'nei amar ki farunai ki akob, Ugalo miyad chazat mimenu baruch atah Adonai. How we yearn for a sense of peace, a sense of uh, hope in a difficult time. Our prayer for the evening, I hope, gives us a little bit of that. Maybe my mood, like yours perhaps, is a little mellow. So our Vishamru is going to be a little more mellow than usual, but it's still, of course, a celebration of Shabbat. Continue, if you like, you may rise for our Amidah, page 16. Adonai Eloheinu Elohei Avoteinu Vimoteinu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah Elohei Rivka Elohei Rachel Elohei Leah Ha'el Ha'gadol Ha'gibor Vahanurah El El Yon 
גומר חסדים טובים, וקונה הכל, וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה, מלך עוזר מושיע ומגן. ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי כל אתה רב להושיע, מוריד הטל. מחלקי החיים בחסד, מחיי הכל ברחבים רבים. סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו. לשני עפר, מי כמוך בעל גבורות, ומידו מלך, מלך ממית ומחיה, ומצמיח ישוע, ונאמן אתה לחיות הכל, ברוך אתה אדוני מחיה הכל. אתה קדוש ושמך קדוש, וקדושים בכל יום יללו חסלע, ברוך אתה אדוני האל. HaKadosh. You may be seated. We continue with the prayer for peace, page 20. O God, withdraw your ancient curse of Babel. Remove from humankind the confusion of tongues. For we have built radar towers and trusted in them, atomic bombs and guided missiles and put our faith in them. Cause us no more with dumb power. Curse us no more. Remove from us these speechless weapons. Bless us with the blessing of language, so there can be speech even among angry people. Bless us with the blessing of understanding, so even prejudiced people can learn to understand. Open their eyes. Grant us the divine power of words, O God, that we may speak with each other. Open their ears, that they may hear us. Open their hearts, that they may understand. Open their mouths, that they may answer. Open also our ears and our hearts and our mouths. Overturn unto all your children's speech, that we may once more speak together as siblings of peace.
Before we enter our silent prayer, I offer this prayer in a difficult time. I hope once again it will bring some solace. Lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Let peace fill our hearts, our world, our universe. Let us dream together, pray together, work together to build one world of peace and justice for all. Continue silent. Page 23 is a prayer for healing of those in need of healing of body and soul, those in need of healing because of violence, because of this pandemic. May the earth know healing and hope. We join together. We pray for healing of the body, we pray for healing of the soul, for strength of flesh and mind and spirit, we pray to once again be whole. Now, 
Vashieta Mecha Ubarech and Nakla Techa, Rem Benase Manhaula, Mishabarach Abutenu, Mishabarach Imotenu, Anad Onai Hoshiana. We pray for healing of our people, we pray for healing of the land, and peace for every race and nation, every child, every woman, every man. Elarifana, oh please heal us now. I'm going to uh, make a confession. I'm not really feeling so good today. Certainly not at my best leading worship, and I apologize for that. It's hard. It's hard, uh, not because this is the second service of the day. I wish that were the reason. It's hard because the world is hard, and I miss being with you and learning and feeling you and hearing you sing. Uh, Zoom fatigue is a real thing. It's not because of the hours in front of the camera. It's because we haven't invented a way yet to have that human touch comfort us without the actual human touch. But I'm especially bothered by what's going on in the world, what's going on with the violence and the racism. And uh, this is the third uh, sermon I wrote for tonight. I just couldn't figure out what to say that wouldn't sound like a cliche. But uh, fortunately, I have a rabbinic colleague, a great guy named Tom Alpert, a rabbi in Massachusetts, although his real claim to fame, as far as I'm concerned, is he was born and raised right in Galveston, Texas, and he's very proud of that. Anyway, he shared some words uh, with me today, and I have his permission to share them with you, not his exact words, but some of his ideas. And uh, he also admitted uh, it was hard for him to pray, and it wasn't because of the Zoom, which he's figured out. It's because of what has happened this week. He gives uh, an account, I'm sure it won't be news to you. In Minneapolis, a group of black men had been using a gym and a WeWork space for several months. A white venture capitalist in the same building comforted them, confronted them, and questioned what they were doing there. They told them they were tenants, but the man kept demanding more information and threatened to call the police. In New York City, a white woman did actually call the police on a black man. Amy Cooper was walking her unleashed dog in the Ramble in Central Park, an area that requires dogs to be leashed and says so very clearly. Christian Cooper, no relation to Amy, is a birder. He approached her and told her to leash her dog, knowing that an unleashed dog presented several problems for bird watchers. She refused. They got into an argument. Eventually, she indicated she was going to call the police. He was taping her with his phone, and this was going on. And she said to him, I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Of course, the video has gone viral. And also back in Minneapolis, as you know, a white police officer, Derek Chauvin, kept his knee on the back of a black man, George Floyd, for eight minutes. Floyd was in custody and was clearly no longer a threat, if ever he'd been one. And yet, despite the pleas of passersby, Chauvin continued to keep his knee on Floyd's neck, and the three companion officers did nothing to stop. Floyd died shortly thereafter. Officer Chauvin was fired from the force and recently arrested and charged with third-degree murder. But as you know, rioting has broken out in several cities, and uh, we know that George Floyd is still dead. And so since 2014 is Eric Garner and so many others. We've just finished the holiday of Shavuot, the time of giving of Torah. And we celebrate it because the Torah remains a guide for how we should live with God and with our fellow human beings. And yet, and yet, it seems like the Torah's voice of justice is hard to hear these days. In his talk, Rabbi Alpert speaks about his hero, Abraham Joshua Heschel, who during the Vietnam crisis said the following, in a free society, some are guilty, but all are responsible. Some are guilty, but all are responsible. Some these days are guilty of harassment and even killing of black people in America, but all of us 
bear responsibility. And I think that's important to remember. There are things we have to do. Rabbi Alpert also cites Rabbi Naomi Levy. And when it comes to Shavuot, she teaches that when the Israelites were encamped, ready to get the Torah, the word for the Israelites encamping is singular. They made one camp. And it's the only time in the Torah when the singular is used to refer to the entire Israelite community encamping. It means that this one time, they were all together. And that is my hope. This is just me talking now. That through this difficult time of pandemic and racism and violence and hatred and lack of compassion and truth, and justice. We can find a way as a country to come together in this time to be there for each other, not just with words and prayers and thoughts, but actions. To reach out to our friends in the African American community. Don't assume they know we're thinking of them. Tell them. I know these days we must be safe, but that doesn't mean we should not speak. It is not a time for silence. The world needs outrage and compassion, recognition of reality, but also hope. If I had to pick one role model this week, it would be Christian Cooper, the birder in Central Park. And so let me close these words with his words on the Shabbat. He said in an interview with CNN that he doesn't want people to harass Amy Cooper, and he's condemned those who have threatened her life. He noted that she's made a public apology, but he also said this about her statement in which she denies being a racist. Is she a racist? I can't answer that, only she can. But I would submit probably the only way she's going to answer that is to go forward. How she conducts herself and how she chooses to reflect on this situation and examine it. I know that we can all do more to make a more just society. And it must begin with our reflecting on our own prejudices, our own privileges, and finding a way to bring more justice to the world. The ancient rabbi said the sword came into the world because of justice delayed and justice denied. So I ask us, what is our part in the delaying of justice? And what might be our role in the bringing of peace. Our service continues as we are reminded of our responsibilities. Page 24, Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol, l'atet kedula l'yotzer b'reshit, shalo asan agogoye haratzot, velo samanu k'mishpachot hadama, shalo san chalkenu kahen, Begor aleinu kechol hamonam. Banatnu korim, umishtachavim umodim. Lifne melech moche hamlachim. Hakadosh baruchu. I know I can't hear you, but please join with me. To open eyes when others close them. To hear when others do not wish to listen. To look when others turn away. To seek to understand when others give up to rouse oneself when others accept, to continue the struggle even when one is not the strongest, to cry out when others keep silent. To be a Jew, it is that, it is first of all that. And further to live when others are dead and to remember when others have forgotten. Yea, I don't know. Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo. The poet Raymond Carver, in his collection, A New Path to the Waterfall, says the following entitled Lake Fragment. And did you get what you wanted from this life? Even so, I did. And what did you want? call myself beloved, to feel myself beloved on the earth. There are those who are beloved who no longer walk this earth and yet continue to be sources of love. We cherish their memory and we hope they are at rest. On this Shabbat, we think of dear ones who have been laid to rest in recent months and weeks and days. 
Harriet Gardner, Paul Schechter, Erwin Schulman, Joan Ruvel Loeb, Esther Andis, Arturo Werner Weichschel Strauss, Teresa Fox, Johanna Walker, Mark Singer, Jim Monroe, Roberta Appel, Susan Wasserman, Dan Lightman, Charles Hirschberg, Noreen Solomon, Ray Ann, Sylvia Brodowski, Robert Muller, Abraham Teitelbaum, Gloria Derwetsky, Marcine Tarlow, Josh Fiddler, Jim Ann, Jody Lynn Kurtzman, and Barbara Schultz. We also think of dear ones whose yard site falls this week. Anna Abramson, Ralph Schlesinger, Barry Beer, Lillian Marks, Hava Halit Azin, Braden Patton, Neil Weintraub, and Ruth Friedman Foreman. May their lives be a blessing and a benediction. They were and are beloved. Yit gadal yit gadash shemei rabah, v'alma di rachiru te v'amlich machu te, v'chai chonev yom v'chonev chai d'chol b'et Yisrael, v'agalav izman karivim ruamin. Yehei shemei rabah mevorach lelam omaya, yit barach v'ishtabach v'itpa'ar v'itroman v'itnase, v'itadar v'talel v'tala shemei d'kudash ha'brichu, lelam in kol b'rchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechemata, Tamiran bi alma vim ru amen. Yehe shlama rabba in shemaya v'chayim. Alenu vi alko Yisrael vim ru amen. Ose shalom vim ru mav. Hu ya ase shalom. Alenu vi alko Yisrael vim ru amen. Ose shalom vim ru mav. Hu ya ase shalom ale. Yako Israel, name room, name room, shalom, I do look forward to our being together in person. In the meantime, I hope you take care of each other. I hope that you know I'm thinking of you and always here to talk. Tomorrow we have Torah study on Zoom at 8.30 a.m. Some of the classes coming up this week on this Sunday we have our final um, installment of great Jewish texts. We're going to learn how to argue in a diplomatic way. That's at 4 o'clock on Sunday on Zoom. And this Monday at 12 noon, we're finishing up our year series of Lunch and Learns. Don't worry, we'll start over with a new topic very soon. And this is our final one on Jewish prayer, or rather Jewish thoughts, with the uh, wonderful insights of the late Rabbi Harold Schulweis, especially for those who don't believe or can't believe. Our closing song is going to be at the back of our book. Once again, we're praying for a hope, hopeful time. We sow in tears, but we reap in joy. Please join in.
Kor Chaim, source of all life. Bless us with hope. Help us work with you to make our world a place of justice and love, compassion and forgiveness, and hope for everlasting peace. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.